I want us to, to look at and just bring some illustration to one of the aspects and characteristics that we bring into the Empire uh, Premier Forge lineup, and that is BMR6. And BMR stands for Brown Mid Rib, okay? And so you can see this brown mid rib here on this leaf. And what that is, that's a phenotype indication of lower lignin or lower undigestible material in, in this plant, okay? If we look at a conventional or white midrib, you can see there's a, there's a pretty big difference. And so we bring in the BMR6 because it's the most digestible of, of all of the BMR traits in sorghum. And so um, not only does it show up in the leaves, but as you can see here, it'll show up in the stalks which is also indicates that this stock is more digestible. Now I know a lot of guys a lot of times want to plant uh, higher populations of forages because they think well if I get a thinner stock it'll be better more digestible the cows will like it better but I'm telling you that with this BMR you can plant a little bit lower population and get more digestible material in this stock that the cows are going to eat makes it also more palatable. Not only that, so for every pound of BMR that they eat, they're getting more energy out of it than they would with the conventional. So there's more energy per pound of the BMR, and they're able to digest it quicker. But not only that, they're also, uh, because this has lower undigestible material in it, it also increases dry matter intake. Now for the dairy guys, a lot of them understand that increasing dry matter intake increases milk production. And so we want, we want those cows to eat as much as they can so they can produce as much milk as they need to or as we need them to. Now the other thing that I find in, in different parts of the country, and especially parts of Kansas, Oklahoma, and even down in Texas some, is that a lot of guys are feeding beef uh, sorghum silage. And what they typically say is, well, we just need tons. We don't need that, that, uh, that BMR that's a little bit expensive. We just need something to fill their bellies. And the fallacy in that is, yes, you're filling their bellies with undigestible material. You're suppressing their dry matter intake. Now, we know that if we are feeding cattle, we want them to eat as much as they can to be able to, to increase their average daily gains. And so with the BMR, we can do that even in, uh, even in cattle that we're finishing. 